factory to reach 100% universal energy access and maybe sell electricity to its big brother, neighbor Nigeria. According to the news today, that uh, Ghana is going to give Nigeria light. Yes, light in this year. Nigeria is going to have light from Ghana. They are, Ghana is going to supply Nigerian light. But my question in this video is that uh, people, majority of Nigerians are calling Ghana small. How can country you call small can even take your responsibility? <laughs> responsibility of light. They are going to serve you light, light that you need. The small country is going to serve you that electricity you are needing. You have tried for, for many years. Now the preparation is going on. Mm, but Nigeria is going to pay a lot of money. Yes, because I have noticed that when you go around Nigeria, they, they don't get a uh, meter. Nigeria, they don't get meter. I don't know how they are going to do this. But let's continue. Now, the head of the generation and transmission unit at the Ministry of Energy in Ghana, Hansen Moni, conveyed this during his presentation in Lagos on the second day of the Nigeria Energy Leadership Summit. Money highlighted that Ghana has already achieved a remarkable 80 to 85 percent universal energy access within its borders through robust policy formulation and implementation. Well, once again, joining me to unpack this is Aditayo Adibemile, the CEO of Power of Nigeria. Thank you, Aditayo, for joining us. Now, um, we're talking about uh, the Ghana's new uh, policy and uh, their sales plans. What can we make of this development? Can we say that Ghana uh, will be able to sell energy to Nigeria? All right. Um, what I'm going to just do... Because when I, when, I, when I read that report, the first thing I did was to try and reach out to some of my friends and colleagues that are in Ghana to try and get an overview of what Ghana's power status is. Um, maybe I should just fill out the data so that everybody can make up their mind from there. Presently, the total installed power generating capacity in Ghana is just 5,000 megawatts. And um, their daily output is about 4,000 megawatts. That's one. Um, yes, Ghana presently exports power to a couple of countries like um, Benin Republic, Togo, uh, Burkina Faso, and sometimes to Cote d'Ivoire. And the total energy that the four countries take from Ghana is roughly about 100 megawatts. So um, for the Ghana head of uh, transmission and generation to come to Nigeria, and to say that um, they want to sell power to Nigeria is kind of preposterous and ambitious. Um, because I... It's like, this matter is not clear in my ear. It's not clear at all. When I hear, say, Nigeria want to receive light from Ghana, and I ask myself, I'll be hearing for a very long time, say, Nigeria, they supply Ghana light. Then how comes? How comes? You are the one giving. Then how comes again? Ghana can't they supply you. What happened? Now the preparation is going on now. Ghana want to supply Nigeria light. They want to supply them now. As I'm talking to you, they like that Niger Nigeria said that they are the one giving. Where we are fine. The road where the light passed to Ghana, where we, I don't find them, we know they see. But but now Ghana is the one now going to give in Nigeria. They are going to give Nigeria. Nigeria own we did not see, but Ghana own we don't see them. Ghana is about to go to give Nigeria the light that Nigeria needs. They are preparing. No, it's not like you don't read you. They are preparing to go and give Nigeria. But I still not agree with it because Nigerian was telling me where their life passed going to Ghana. But Ghana own they are broadcasting it everywhere now. Especially I'm hearing it in some radio station, uh, radio station in Nigeria and TV station. Uh, but now this year, they are working on it. If the agreement is clear, they are going to give Nigeria light. But Nigeria, come and tell me. <laughs> you need to come and defend yourself. Yeah, Nigeria, you need to come to defend yourself. I'm waiting for you. Come and defend yourself. 
without it if they have the capacity. This is a situation where my Yoruba people will say that if you stay too long in a bad situation, all sort of uh, bad things will also meet you on that same spot. So, um, yeah, like I said, it is preposterous for him to have said that. And it's, it's, a bit, it's a bit ambitious. Okay, um, now that will lead me to my uh, next question, talking about how capable uh, the power sector is in Nigeria. Now, we know for a fact that many areas in the country have a relative 24 hours power supply. Um, even after the two power grid collapse uh, recently, it was restored really quickly. So, uh, can we say that we want to buy more power? Um, absolutely, we need more power. I mean, there is no. There's no second guessing that. We do need more power. Um, but you see, what Mr. Asin said, and Mr. Money actually, what he said that struck me from his comment is that that has um, a plan and they're working through that plan. Um, I'll give you an instance. Um, I understand they presently have a 250 megawatt uh, project ongoing for solar power and for it to be fed into the grid. As we speak right now, the first phase of 50 megawatts has been completed and it's being fed into the national grid. Uh, there's another project that's ongoing which has about 20 megawatts also on the national grid. We don't have such um, landmark projects in Nigeria. Unfortunately, the only renewable energy source that's on national grid happens to be on a dam. And in fact, if if we're subjected to further interrogation, I don't think Nigeria officially recognizes the, our hydropower dams as renewable energy sources. So, um, yeah, we have pockets of um, locations that have good power supplies, as we speak, but no, we are nowhere near meeting our energy demand, energy needs in Nigeria. And um, uh, I would say that, yes, we need a lot of work, we have a lot of work to do um, with our power sector policy. Okay, and speaking of meeting energy needs, uh, say in the nearest possible future, do you think there's a possibility that Nigeria can maintain a 24-hour power supply? Well, the interesting part of this conversation, um, though I, I have my reservation and I've, I've expressed it in a number of, uh, on a number of platforms already, is that we have a new Minister of Power uh, that came in and out of the blues started promising 20,000 megawatts in three years, Started promising uh, they will focus on renewable energy. Is that you know? And all these are statements. I mean, and every an average man on the streets without such portfolio who also says things like that. The question is, you know, say Nigeria know the light TV. Ghana, if you give Nigeria this light now, can they pay the bill? It's very important because people know get me that self. How they want to take the TV? A question. No, we need to answer this question. Or. Oh. We then pay the B. Can then pay? Can you pay, Nigeria? Can you pay? Because you are not used to it. Mm, you like free things. You are not used to it. How are you going to pay the B if the lights, if uh, the the Ghana give you the light you want? Can you pay the B? Because I see some Nigerians in Ghana who they fight la long for B. <laughs> they don't they like pay their B. Now, if Ghana give this thing to Nigeria, can they pay the bill? That is the question. A 25, 24 hours like 24 hours, not be about 24 hours like so. How to pay the bill? That be the thing. Mm. Pay the bill, that be the thing. 24 hours like no problem, but to pay the bill, that be the thing. Yes. So, if you want to achieve 20,000 megawatts in three years, what are the policies? How do you achieve it? What's going you know, on? What's, what's your plan? What's the roadmap to achieving that 20,000 megawatts? You know, we are, part of the challenges that we are having as we speak right now is we have issues with metering. We have about 6 million um, consumers on meter. And that's even being conservative because we don't even know how many people are connected to our national grid. We, 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 we have problems with uh, our willing capacity at this year. We can't do, we can't still do officially, we can't still do what as, as you can see, and you hear it, this one, not reality, not for mouth, not, not like the Nigeria one, 
where they have been lying for many years that Nigeria giving Ghana lied, where the, the rumors would fly. But Ghana own na reality. Not no be no be how do they call it? No be for my mind or no be how Nigeria they talk this thing. Ghana own a reality. Even TB the broadcasts. But Nigeria one, TB never broadcasts say they give Ghana light to. People just they lie lie for their several. But this one, na reality, Ghana is preferring to give Nigeria light. Before end of this year, you finally hearing the rejoice. Yes. My brother, Ghanaians need respect from Nigeria. We don't need any support. But uh, they can't support us in anything. We are the masters in football. They are the masters in politics. Historically, football, we scored them 25 times. They scored only 12, 19 draws. And you know the politics side. So what again? They are good in music. Yeah, that is it. That's the culture. I mean, Nigerians, are, I like the Nigerian music. The to wife, the late to wife was mine. Uh, my hero, you know, even I had his number up to now, I'm having his number on my phone, a WhatsApp number. I've, you know, I started like liking his music when I was uh, 15 years, back in 1977, I think 1976, that I got to know Victor Wife. I didn't see him, but I was uh, hearing his music and I enjoyed it very much. So Nigerians, you know, when I hear that Ghana want support because some of them they fake themselves so oh, without nigeria ghana do can't do this but in ghana does everything we we help them they can't help us so we don't need their support we only need them to educate themselves to know their history that ghana is not under them ghana is not inferior to them if anything is the opposite that's why that they have too many 250 million it doesn't mean that they are superior to ghana no that's what you have to know that's it we don't need support what support do we need actually don't need support good 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 work done I mean, that's a program that came, so that is it. But actually, Ghana doesn't need support from Nigeria. You see what I mean? What support? You, you imagine yourself, we support Ghana we need from Nigeria. We expect them to behave themselves. That's why when they come to Ghana, the mentality of small Ghana, little Ghana, that is uncivilized. It, it you know, shows, it makes people annoying because it's not a, it's not a right thing. Ghana, Ghanaians are supposed to show disrespect because of history, till now, till today. But Ghanaians are not doing that. So why should Nigerians be doing that? That's what, you know, they have to stop. So I don't think Ghanaians, when you ask Ghanaians, they will say they, they need any support from Nigeria. No, for me, I can't imagine any support from Nigeria, no. Because, uh, you know, this competition that people say Nigeria should support, it is childish. You see what I mean? Because most Nigerians want Ghana to fail. So why should they support? No, for that one, those who say Nigeria should support, I condemn them, I send them a message to they shouldn't have asked that. I mean, you can't. <laughs> they should know that Nigeria want them to because Nigerians, most of them are thinking making competition with Ghanaians, so they don't want Ghana to, you know, have good name and then be winning in competitions. You see the football, the way they behave. You know it yourself. So when Ghanaians are making competition, Nigerians they don't support it individually. People will support. I know you will support individual, but Nigeria as a whole, it's not something that Ghanaians respect them to support them. So they shouldn't have even spoken about it no you see the way people say support if people have they have insulted Ghanaians because of that the girls uh as uh what is the music something something that he won recently yeah, and even this cooking thing that the girl in the north is doing some channels some guys have written them have sent message to them and blasted them no you can't ask somebody to support no if you ask somebody to support you you may think you look at them as superiors. So they will blast you, you know. No, that is it. So they were wrong to ask Nigeria to support. No. If Ghana has supported Nigeria, it is the are well. They wanted to support Nigeria. So if Nigeria, Ghana is doing something Nigeria doesn't support, it's only let Ghanaians who supported them to learn sense. So that next time they also keep quiet. That's all. But the moment you ask Nigerians that they should support you, you get them, you give them ammunition to insult you because then they will tell and say that you, you don't you don't know what you're doing or you can't do it without them. At the moment they hear support from Ghana, that's all they are going to say. That Ghanaians can't do anything without them. But that's not the truth. In history, despite their numbers, they do anything for Ghana. Nothing. We have masters in football. You know the record. And the map poly know it. So what again? Everything is politics. 
bad governance is what has brought Nigeria where they are. So if Ghanaians are the masters, though things are not perfect, but history tells that we are the masters. And football to record you. So what again? Foot, music, good. Music is, you know, when you come to Europe, you don't hear any, anywhere Nigerian music, no. Even I was playing Nigerian music, but I don't, I don't have time. For the past 10 years or so, I don't have time for it. So music is nothing. But at least in West Africa, I would say Nigerian music is what, you know, is a popular for me. But not everybody who play Nigerian music. But I play Nigerian music long ago. I used to play Nigerian music. Now I don't play anything, any music at all. So Ghana doesn't need support from them. We need them to respect themselves and learn history to know that Ghana is not common Ghana. Ghana is superior, if you want to use that word. Ghana is not common. Ghana is not uh, yesterday. Ghana is not literal. You see, that kind of nonsense is what you have to stop. But as for help, support, no, what support actually? Canada doesn't need their support. When it comes to owing, even US is owing Ukraine. US is owing Russia. Everybody is owing somebody in the world of things that you don't have. Okay. Ghana have gold. If some country, you know, African countries don't consume gold. Like if African countries consume gold, you see that a country will own Ghana gold because when you pay, you can't, when you buy it, it's not something that you buy and pay fiscal money, money like that. No. So if, if they say Ghana is owing Nigeria gas, that's nothing. In the past, when we hadn't discovered gas in our country, Ghana, Ghana could own Nigeria gas. And if we want something, I mean, what, what, what's the thing? Americans are owing, are owing some countries gas. Europeans are owing some countries gas. Did you hear that recently, because of uh, the war between Ukraine and Russia, um, Russia, um, the, I mean, the Europeans decided not to buy gas from Russia again. You know, the items that you need from each country internationally, when you purchase those items, you own that country, one or the other, because it's not something that when you buy, then you pay. So Ghana owing gas to Nigeria is nothing. It's absolutely nothing. It doesn't change anything. It doesn't alter anything. Because if they are owing you, they are paying it in the terms that both of you, the countries, have come to agree upon. You've agreed that the person who owned, I mean, bought something like this and he's paying it. That is it. If that is not allowed, then how, how, how can Ghana own Nigeria? So owing gas or something, it's not, it doesn't change anything. Yes, United States uh, buy, buys, uh, what is it, is it diesel from Saudi Arabia and then uh, these Arab countries. They are owing them because it's a continuous business. We see that I mean, until, and that is continuing. Even if Ghana was buying uh, gas from um, what is, um, Nigeria, I don't think it's going on again. You see, they were saying they were supplying electricity, now it's gas. Yeah, Ghana didn't have gas. So Ghana could have ordered gas from Nigeria. And it's not something that you pay, you buy it and then you pay, like you go to Petrochel and then fill your car tank and they have to pay there. No, that's not the case. So Ghana is owing, if Ghana is owing Nigeria uh, gas, it's nothing. It doesn't change. America is owing Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, and uh, Arab countries. Uh, uh, fuel, they are owing them because that's the transaction. That's the way it is. You can't just buy it and then look at how 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 do you buy it at once? Pay it at once like that? No. So if Ghana is owing, it's nothing. It doesn't change our history. A big country like this, there's no country in the world that doesn't own uh, uh, that that doesn't uh, own debt to a, any country in the world. Everybody, we, you know, it's a, it's a global word. This is not today. Since the creation of the world, people own, buy, because you don't buy and then pay at once. It doesn't go like that. So the guy is talking rubbish. They don't have anything to say. See, that's what I'm saying that Nigeria is not a country that Ghana have to say we need their support. No. If you buy something, you are paying it. If they give it to free, then they are giving it for free. You see what I mean? And you can't talk about it. But if... They haven't given anything for uh, to Ghana for free and say they are owing us. People own. We don't own bank banks. I'm, as I'm talking to you, I'm owing my bank here. And there's a time for me to pay it. Yes. If it reaches a point where I can't pay it, that is it. I can't pay it. When it comes to the time that I can pay, I pay. It's as simple as that. So owing somebody, country owing a country, is not something that is between Ghana and Nigeria. 
You see, that's what I'm saying. That some of these people are very foolish, very ignorant, and illiterate. Thank everyone for your supporting, your subscribe, your comment, and everything you are doing. Your message, your enemy. I really appreciate you. Bye bye for now.